Well, Dick, they passed their first test. The second round game, though, should prove to be more difficult between the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors and the Oregon State Beavers. Number 23 is a player who's not afraid to do what it takes to get the job done. This kid is great on the defensive end of the floor, Brad. And on the offensive end, he's virtually unstoppable. The Beavers will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Beavers know this could go either way, Dick. What are the keys to their success tonight? These are the keys for me, Brad. Number one, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Next, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Thirdly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Now they work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Tries for two, and, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Too much, that's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll regroup the offense. The center takes the pass. He does the sweet fake shot with the fake. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Off the rim and no good. Number 23 is fired up and ready to go. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Sinks the shot. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Fed the low block. Nice pass to the low block. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Great anticipation defensively. They run it up into transition. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Number 15 takes the feed. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. And in and out.
Inside. In the paint. Nice fake. The ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. The small forward with the ball. Number three is pretty fired up and excited. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Not this time. Side. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Jump hook from the low block. In and out. The point guard gets the pass. They work it around the perimeter. The frustration right there. From the baseline. Way off target. Gave it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. From the top of the circle. Makes the shot. in the low block but opted against it and all the way on the baseline now the kick out got some room he shoots from the top of the key the Warriors have got to continue to get him the ball they need to keep feeding him the ball it's simple stolen away change in possession the defense knocked it loose then went and got it Spacing. Trying to pack it inside. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. was loose but the defense got possession looking for contact contact causes the shot to come off Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him well it's the key is to really beat him to the spot get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing ball and man the shooting guard gets the ball nice steal there but the offense gets the ball back for the bucket makes it Here's another look at the play. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. 
backcourt violation call. A little bit of a mental lapse by the offense that time, Dick. Dick, how's our focus player doing so far? I know it's a little bit earlier, but what are you seeing? Well, I think he's playing well, but unfortunately, his teammates are not helping. I mean, he can't win if just one guy's going to make plays. Tries a three. It won't fall. Oh, what a strip, Red. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. He goes to the line. It's good. There's the screen up on top. He lets it go. He drains the bucket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. On the dribble, gives it up. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. In the paint. Controlling the ball. Number 30 makes a great move to draw the foul. What a great play. Check him out, Nick. He's taunting the crowd. You've got that right, Brad. The Warriors go to the line for the first time in this game. Makes it. That's a seven-zip run. Second one, no good. Rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Both teams looking to get things going here. He dials long distance. Gets it to go. That's 10 on answer. Get ready to resume the action. Entry pass in the paint. Here's a double team. Stop and pop. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. There he is. Puts the ball loose. Looking for a good shot. Turns it over. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's got a nice shot fake. Let's watch the move as he works his man and out a fadeaway jumper. Gave it up. He goes for three. Questionable shot selection there. That shot was definitely ill-advised. From right at the 
circle. Off the rim and no good. He launches the bomb. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. they got to get it going here. In the paint. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Up it inside. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Sets the screen for his teammate. From the top of the key. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Picked off. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He pump fakes. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. They're off into transition. Kicks it out for the bucket. It's good. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He steps up to the line. It goes in. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Good fake. For two. Up and in. Number 35 with the fake. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Up and inside. From three-point territory, way off target. Moving it around the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oregon State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. On the outside. Now they work it around the perimeter. He launches a three. He's taken too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's forcing his team their rhythm. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Picked out of the air. There should be an easy bucket here. My goodness. Players these days in athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Fakes it. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Shoots it. Off the rim and no good. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Sinks it. Fake with the jump hook. 
I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Gave it up. Kicks off the lazy pass. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Intercepted. Tries for two, and he scores it off the glass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in, then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. Momentary look from three-point land. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Working it around the perimeter from the top of the key. Way off target. On the outside. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and had a spin move to the board. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Puts it up, looking for contact. Took it out with turnovers either. Gave it up for the bucket and off the mark. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He pulls the trigger off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. How about a replay, boys? Shot clock is dead. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop of this possession. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. These teams have played each other tight, and at the end of the first half, they're even. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Oregon State just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. Hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of his game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. Our focused player update, Dick Vitale, going into the second half. What does he need to do? Here? I think I have to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the up. I think his teammates have to screen for him. 
they work it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they know, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The fake. The point guard receives the pass. There's the pick. Number zero. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Rims out. And the free throw woes continue. This is an embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains it. to draw the foul oh yes are you kidding me show me how he did that <laughs> on the dribble gives it up and he'll kick it back outside puts it up he's typically a good shooter yeah but not tonight he's got to accept that those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Takes away the pass for two. Great play to take that to the basket. As the fans continue to chant. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. He shoots from the angle. Rims out. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And it's good. The Beavers have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? I think right now, I've got to focus defensively. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet. He goes for three. Way off target. Gave it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He unloads. Off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. He gets the rejection. And the ball goes out of play. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Picked off. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For the deuce. Hey, kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell you, the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. He makes the first shot.
No doubt. Up and inside. They work it around the perimeter. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a free quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. On the outside. Almost lost the basketball. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, an absolute you lose here and you get balled like I am. First shot, good. Hawaii have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Second shot, good. He makes the third shot. The Beavers trail by nine. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. He attempts a jump hook. They still don't score. He tries the three. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job. At and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Up for the lay-in. Gave it up. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. The power forward handles the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to deal with ease, Brad. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up. Pump fakes. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. 
Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And he missed. Working it around the perimeter. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Looking for a good shot. The center receives the ball. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The point guard handles the feed. Steal. And again, they look to run. For the bucket. And off the mark. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Off the rim and no good. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Defense is right up on him, not giving any open looks. Step out on that screener. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Warriors seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup, Dick. Hey, Brad, you know I love seniors. By the time they're in their fourth year of eligibility, they are solid and reliable basketball players. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Number five. They spent right now emotionally, Dick. He needs for something positive to happen, which will light his fire and get him going. Establish some good tempo. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Up and inside. Time to pick up the defense here now. paint. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He dials long distance. Drains the shot. They work it around the perimeter. For the deuce. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. It's stolen. Double team now, bad angle. Gets it back out. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. 
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Up and inside. Got the shot if he wants it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's the trap. Goes up for two. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. He puts up the three ball. You betcha. He goes with a baby hook. In and out. Spacing. Takes the three-pointer. Yes! Watch the replay, Brad. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Visit the charity strike. Hits the first. Makes the shot. Gets the third. it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Doesn't go. And he scores despite the hack. Court. He's open if he wants the shot. Shoots. Rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. For the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Solid work getting back on D. In the paint for two. Oregon State are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. For the deuce, and in and out. Gave it up. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Number zero is pounded on his way up. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Number zero goes to the line, shooting two. Buries it.
makes his second shot. Takes the pass in the paint. He tries a jump hook. The ball goes out of bounds. On the dribble, gives it up. In the paint. He strips him clean. He puts up the tray. Gets it to fall. And he'll kick it back outside. From the baseline. Not there. Little baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Only one basket away from the crowd being absolutely thrilled. Takes away the pass. From right of the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Great defense. Pushes it. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, possibly the block. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. And let's go back out onto the floor. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Got the high pick for the bucket. He couldn't get it to fall. Steals the pass. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. They work the perimeter. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. And yet another foul. 
I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Turnovers, Dick. They just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. the second. All you need is a score and a stop to have a chance. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. He attempts the three. They have the foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. He'll go to the line. The front end of the one-and-one. Time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. They cut the lead to two. Hold on to your seat, Mr. Nestler. For two. Got to make that baby end a wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for easy deuce. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Rims off. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Attempts the Hail Mary. Off the rim and no good. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. A couple of free ones. First one is no good. the second shot. It's a T.O., baby. Hey, it's nail-biting time. Where's my PTP? -er? Who's going to step up and make the big shot? Let's get back out on the floor. Oregon State kept it close for the whole game, but could not come away with a win. It's always tough to lose to a team that you know you can beat. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.